Game. He will find out soon what his fate is, whether or not he continues on with the Yankees or if he's been claimed by another team. I had the opportunity to catch up with him in the dugout earlier today to ask him just how odd today has been, not knowing exactly where he's going to be at the end of the day. It's a little strange. Normally, uh, you know, baseball players are very... Um, regimented and uh you know part of part of that is not waking up thinking that you're gonna be on another team it's about uh that day and attacking that day and how you're gonna go about being a, a winning player so it's definitely been a little out of routine for me to say the least but listen i think that's uh it's part of the game uh it's part of the business side which i learned last year um you know very quickly so listen i'm just excited for whatever opportunity comes my way and uh yeah we'll just see how it plays out do you expect that it'll be with a different team that you'll be claimed <laughs> i mean listen i certainly hope so i think uh you know, I was put on waivers for a reason by this organization, which I respect and understand. So, you know, with that said, we just keep it moving and we, and we you know, we keep the energy flowing. Um, and I I'm certainly hope that I'm given an opportunity to continue playing baseball uh, this year with a team that's contending. I know I can help in, in a lot of different ways. So, um, again, listen, I'm just, I'm just excited for whatever comes my way. And I'm looking forward to just attacking it accordingly and, and, again, keeping that winning mentality regardless of the uniform. Mention the uniform. I know it meant a lot to you to be in New York, to be here when you walked in that clubhouse for the first time after you were traded last year. Why is this organization so special to you? Yeah, listen, that, that's a great question, Meredith. Um, first of all, you know, it's my home. Uh, it's 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 all I knew as a baseball player. Uh, the standard, those you know, those those late '90s, early 2000s Yankees set. Uh, that was a talk of of New York City. That was a talk of certainly my household, um, and that was my my childhood as a baseball player. Um, back to the days where I was a young kid playing shortstop and then emulating Derek Jeter all the way up to learning I couldn't feel the ground ball uh, worth anything and uh, shifted to the outfield and then Bernie became my guy. So, um, you know, the Yankees are just such a part of my childhood growing up in this game and to, to put the uniform on uh, as a New Yorker, you know, nobody could ever take that away from me. Um, and it's really special. Um, special to my family, special to my friends and it's really special to me. So. You know, I told myself ever since uh, September 20th, which was the very first time I got to put that uniform on, after showing up to the clubhouse in a boot. In a boot, right? In a boot, <laughs> which seemed like yesterday. Um, you know, I, I, I truly, I told myself everything from here on out is just a cherry on top. Um, and that's that's how I approached every day. Um, and I, you know, got the opportunity to play with, with some incredible players that I uh, um, just respect tremendously. Um, tremendously um, and have tremendous admiration for so listen uh, you know obviously it'd be a little awkward if you will if this nothing happens today and I'm kind of back in the clubhouse but I think you know preparing for, for the alternative is important because those guys in that clubhouse and the people who run this organization um, they, they deserve their praise and they uh, you know they deserve you know me to articulate the words of, of how much appreciation and, and, and admiration I have for them so you know, if it does in fact go that way, I just want them all to know that. Um, and it's been an absolute pleasure playing in front of the, the fans in the Bronx. Um, I know there are a lot of good moments, and I did my best to put on a show at all times. Um, and, and I certainly brought that New York energy. And I'll never not have that New York energy, but to do it in front of New Yorkers, true New Yorkers, man, what a what a special thing that is. So uh, it's, it's just, there's just so much love. That's what the uniform means to me. Is there one moment that stands out to you that you'll remember? <laughs> I mean, listen, there, there's some good moments. <laughs> good postseason last year. Yeah, good postseason, too. Um, I think the uh, the go-ahead home run against the Orioles this year was, was really special. That was awesome. Um, you know, you, you, I just love when a plan, you know, takes place. Um, I had a plan going into the at-bat against that pitcher who's got some really, really good stuff. Um, and when a plan's executed in the game, it, it's rare, but well, it's not so rare, but, you know, for it to be executed perfectly, I think, is, is really special. That one stands out. Um, you know, the first the first home run I had as a Yankee was was in the postseason. My first at bat last year, that was awesome. Um, but truly, you know, every day has been just such a great moment. Um, just putting that uniform on is special. Putting putting a big league uniform on is special. But uh, but to do it in your hometown in front of, in my opinion, some 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 strong fans, some 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 real fans. That's uh, that's what it's about. The passion is on the field, but but even behind us, I could hear it um, from the roll call to the very end when we win. So it's a uh, Truly, every moment was special for me.